Bill. Thank you, Bill. That's louder. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Ross Baird. I am the executive director of Village Capital, and we are excited and thrilled to announce a partnership today to bridge. You've probably heard the pioneer gap term more times than you can count, and this is the the fix to the problem. Um, we are working with USAID's PACE program, which Chris will tell you about in a second, uh, Sorensen Impact Foundation and Chilton Capital to set up uh, an investment vehicle that can provide seed capital to companies in the gap where they can't get funded now. Now, I'm going to go wonky for about 30 seconds. Uh, bear with me. If you Entrepreneurs say all the time, why don't funds have more risk tolerance? There's a very specific problem, which is funds do not have financial incentive to make small investments because management fees that investors are willing to pay do not lead fund managers to want to raise small funds. Wonky part over. Um, USAID is essentially um, partnering with private capital to allow us to appropriately resource a team that can actually deploy $50,000, $100,000 investments to early stage companies that currently are not receiving capital. And the, we can talk more about the financial structure if you want offline, but this is an excellent use of blending risk capital from USAID and private capital that goes directly to companies that will get a lot more resources to a lot more early stage companies. So we are thrilled to partner with the folks here on stage, I want to hand it over to Chris Jurgens to talk about the PACE program and how this partnership fits in. Great. Thank you, Ross. I'm Chris Jurgens. I head up the Global Partnerships team in the U.S. Global Development Lab at USAID. Uh, I'm thrilled to be here with Ross and Victoria and Jim and Ann to announce this exciting uh, new partnership. Uh, our vision as USAID is to eradicate extreme poverty from the planet in the next two decades. And we see partnering with the entrepreneurship and impact investing communities as one of the most powerful and catalytic ways uh, we can do that. Our administrator, Raj Shah, talks about USAID embracing a new model of development. Uh, and a key element of that is how do we use our donor capital, uh, as Ross was stating, to catalyze private investment, to build market-based solutions, to build entire impact uh, industries. And that's what this deal and, and this initiative is all about. Um, it's one of three public-private partnerships we're launching this week under our Partnering to Accelerate Entrepreneurship, or PACE, uh, initiative. Uh, and, and it's aimed at this, this pioneer gap, this seed fund uh, funding gap, this valley of death that's been a key theme of the conference this week of not enough early stage enterprises getting access to the kind of capital they need uh, at the right time to, to foster their development and, and, and not enough uh, investment ready deals for many impact uh, investors. And so PACE was launched to identify innovations that can address this gap and from our perspective to identify new partnership models for how can the kind of stakeholders on the stage here work together to solve this problem, donors, private investors, venture philanthropists, um, intermediary organizations, incubators, accelerators, um, to build these sort of vibrant ecosystems. So we're making uh, uh, partnerships, co-investing in partnerships with, with three goals in mind to st stimulate financially sustainable methodologies for early stage incubation that are producing the kind of enterprises that investors want to invest in, um, to test new ways of blending uh, public money, grant money, uh, venture philanthropy, and private capital together uh, at the right time to, to, to serve impact enterprises, and to make investments that build out entrepreneurial ecosystems in developing countries that are building the, the infrastructure that entrepreneurs need to, to thrive. Uh, we're excited to partner with Vilcap in this as a, as a leader in this space. Their core uh, peer-based um, incubation methodology it is in itself a, a great innovation in incubation, and we hope this partnership can help that scale, particularly in the developing world. Uh, and, and Ross described um, the catalytic investment we're making to crowd in private investment um, to the fund that's, that's being created. Um, we're grateful as well to be able to partner with Jim and uh, Ann and Chilton Capital, and I will hand it to them to talk about their perspectives on this, this deal. I'm Jim Sorensen, and it's great to be here amongst the, the leaders here on this uh, stage. And I think my perspective is one uh, uh, as an investor. I've been an impact investor for, uh, you know, more than a decade. And um, as a, a, a foundation um, and as an individual, um, I think one of the biggest constraints has really been finding uh, good quality deal flow. And 
uh, I found that um, as I started making investments and I, en I endowed the, the Sorensen Global Impact Investing Center at the University of Utah to help in, in the underwriting and um, a lot of the due diligence that goes into these investments. But a lot of the, the uh, source for the deals that uh, came through were through the Village Capital uh, Program and uh, wanted to get to know them better. As I did, uh, I was really convinced of uh, the, the methodology and the approach and uh, really the effectiveness of this organization in uh, being able to find these very early stage uh, uh, social entrepreneurs and enterprises and help them to get to a stage where they're ready for that very first uh, investment. And this ecosystem um, is one that is, uh, I think, very, um, uh, you know, it's, it's fragile. It needs uh, this kind of development and it needs, uh, uh, you know, the various friction points uh, from the idea uh, to ultimately the, the funding to be able to find the right kind of solutions to make it work. And Village Capital plays a very key role in that, uh, uh, that ecosystem. And it's great to be involved uh, as an investor and also on the board of Village Capital. I couldn't be more excited to be here tonight with all of you. And I'm glad to see there's a big crowd because I think the announcement that's being made tonight is gonna have repercussions for many years to come, particularly in my industry, which is wealth management. I think the partnership that's on the stage tonight represents a tremendous leap forward in terms of bridging the gap between private investment, traditional wealth management, and the support of the growth of that ecosystem for social impact entrepreneurship. Um, with Jim, we have committed the first seed money into the fund and are, couldn't be more delighted that USAID has stepped forward in such a powerful role to make this feed-sensitive activity possible. Otherwise, our investors wouldn't have access. But because of this action, you're going to see going forward the possibility of constructing large-scale portfolios with Village Capital uh, as, as, as an asset allocation. We're excited also because in Houston, we use the Village Capital model to create an investment, a social impact entrepreneurship, and a community development model that allows for the investors, the entrepreneurs, and the local citizens to become involved in impact investing in a way that builds not just a richer investment experience, but also builds community. We feel no one does that better than Village Capital, both from the standpoint of efficiency and effectiveness in terms of delivering the incubator model with an over 90% survival rate, and they have many other metrics that you know, I think you're probably all familiar with. But it's totally in keeping with a long history at Chilton of critical thought, primary research, and just fundamental key analysis around um, the kinds of uh, large-scale equity investing that we do at Chilton for just traditional families, institutions, and endowments. This is a breakthrough moment when now it's going to be going to be possible for a broad, broader, much broader sector of the investment community to invest directly in catalytic impact. So to Chris, to Jim, to Ross, and Victoria, I say thank you, and I say thank you to all of you, and I hope you take this moment forward with you and follow us back in the years to come to see the impact of this commitment tonight. So, Victoria. Um, we are just so excited, honored, and humbled to be here um, with such great partners. I think everybody has spoken to the catalytic and tremendous nature of this blended support, um, and we're thrilled to work with many transformative entrepreneurs at a greater scale over the years to come to generate returns for our investors um, and tremendous impact around the world. So thanks to all of so you. Big hand to USAID, a 2.6 million commitment has already unlocked enough private capital to provide support to 50 enterprises over the next five years, and we're ready to get the work done. Thank you.